The recall election heating up again today as State Senator Russell Pierce goes on the defensive. This is all amid accusations a candidate running against him is a sham. ABC 15's Kurt Yunke uh, caught up with Pierce today and got his take on the candidacy of Olivia Cortez. Can you assure voters that there won't be any connections found between her campaign and your campaign? None. Absolutely none. I've never talked to her, never talked to her campaign people. Senator Russell Pierce on the defense today, maintaining he has no connection to candidate Olivia Cortez, despite accusations that she was put on the ballot to help Pierce win. Pierce tells me he hasn't been following the recent court hearing regarding these accusations. He says his focus is on his campaign, not hers. In fact, Pierce says he has never even met Cortez. True or not, the accusations are out there, and Pierce is defending himself. So what is your message for those who, who think that something bad is going on, something fishy is going on? Wait, I, where's, where's Gloria Allred when you need her? Does Jerry Lewis think only white male Mormons can run in this race? She has a right to run. I, I don't know her. I, I've been very respectful. Why don't people talk about it? He's gone to her house trying to intimidate her not to run. If that was me, I'd be front page. It's outrageous. I mean, you know, she has a right to run, whether they like it or not. She says you're not a sham. I read that in the paper today. Uh, she, she, uh, in fact, made it very clear in court. But with so many questions lingering about Olivia Cortez's campaign, it'll be up to the voters to decide how clear that actually is. In Phoenix, Kirk Yankee, ABC 15 News. Well, you heard Senator Pierce, their accused candidate, Jerry Lewis, of intimidation. Coming up at 6, we're going to tell you what Olivia Cortez says really happened and how Lewis is responding. Plus, the ABC 15 investigators go in-depth on the mysterious campaign signs Cortez says she knew nothing about. We'll have continuing coverage on the air and on ABC15.com.